What's up friends, welcome back for another movie commentary. Today's kind of kills two birds with one stone because after Moon Knight I was really craving some more Oscar Isaac performances and also Alex Garland, one of my favorite directors, has his new film Men coming out later this month and I just wanted to prepare for that by watching some of his films just like I prepared for Robert Eggers' The Northman last month and Ex Machina happens to satisfy both of those wants and it's a pretty tough battle at this point just because of how many phenomenal films A24 has released up to this point but Ex Machina is definitely in my top three of all the A24 films that I've watched up to this point it's just so good and so I'm really looking forward to talking about it for the channel watching along with you all and so hopefully you enjoy watching along with me for it if you do definitely consider leaving a thumbs up it really helps the videos out and of course the full length commentary is available on Patreon Link for that in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into Ex Machina. I freaking love the way this film starts, just throwing us straight into the middle. We don't even really get to know him at all. Barely 30 seconds in, he's already on his way there. One of the best reasons for that, though, that I love we start off so abruptly is that, in a way, Alex Garland kind of conducts a test on the audience, just in that we have to get to know Alex and judge his character based off what we see with interactions. We don't get told anything from the start. It'd be pretty cool to have this place, but it would also get really lonely because you are out in the middle of nowhere. Nobody's coming to you. Caleb Smith. Yes? Please approach the console and face the screen. Such genius set design and everything, and I'm sure it was all intentional, just combining nature and this high-tech futuristic technology, which is exactly what is trying to be done with Ava, is taking this technology but making her feel natural and human. Also, did I freaking call him Alex before? I meant Caleb. I'm pretty sure I said Alex because I was still thinking of Alex Garland. <coughs> Caleb Smith. Hey. Dude! Been so looking forward to this week with you. There he is, the Moon Knight himself. I love his beard in this movie as well. Oscar Isaac wasn't too big by this point either, if I remember. When I have a heavy night, I uh, compensate the next morning. Exercise, antioxidants. Was it a good party? Party? There wasn't a party. Sorry. You're freaked out. I am? Yeah. <laughs> Dude always looks down on him every time he says something. Freaked out by me to be meeting me, having this conversation in this room at this moment, right? Can we just be two guys? Yeah, okay. Well, I guess the first thing I should do is explain your past. What freaking design, man. This is such a cool movie visually. You try a door and it stays shut. Okay, it's off limits. You try another door and it opens and it's for you. I guess it's for you, Caleb. I like right from the start, though, that you kind of get a weird feeling about Nathan. He feels at times almost more inhuman than Ava. And I want to talk to you about what I'm researching. I want to share it with you. But there's something I need you to do for me first. Always a dangerous game signing one of these without knowing anything about what you're signing up for. I feel like in movies, NDAs are almost always a recipe for disaster. I think I need a lawyer. It's standard. It doesn't feel very standard. Okay, it's not standard. And when you discover what you've missed out on in about a year, you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, there's regret either way, so it's a lose-lose for him. Who's to say it would have worked out the same way, though, if he didn't stay? Do you know what the Turing test is? Yeah. Are you building an AI? I've already built one. You're going to be the human component in the Turing test. That would be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I would probably say yes if offered the chance. Dead center of the greatest scientific event in the history of man. If you've created a conscious machine, it's not the history of man. That's the history of gods. Such a great line right there. Curious how many people Garland brought on as like scientific consultants or stuff when writing his script. He's really smart on his own, so he probably did most of it himself. I 
I love her soundtrack theme, but even just from the first shot of her, Ex Machina basically already sealed the effects Oscar. I have no idea how they did most of it. Hello. Hi, I'm Caleb. Hello, Caleb. Do you have a name? Ava. I've never met anyone new before. I don't know how many other performances I've seen that nail the robotic nature of an AI quite like Alicia Vikander does. She kills it. Would you like to know how old I am? Sure. I'm one. One what? One year or one day? One. When did you learn how to speak? I always knew how to speak. Don't know if I ever have focused on the significance of her just saying one in general. Will you come back tomorrow, Caleb? Yes. man takes very copious notes. The design of the way the post-its are laid out kind of reminds me of those large wood things that you hang on the wall that kind of protrude out. You know, I wrote down that other line you came up with, the one about how if I've invented a machine with consciousness, I'm not a man, I'm God. I don't think that's exactly I just that. thought, man, that is so good. <laughs> Dude's God complex is next level. Wouldn't be in the position he's in if he didn't have it though. The real test is to show you that she's a robot and then see if you still feel she has consciousness. At first I thought she was mapping from internal semantic form to syntactic tree structure and then getting linearized words. <laughs> so wordy. I love that Garland always throws big concepts into his script without explaining it. I want to have a beer and a conversation with you, not a seminar. Sorry. How do you feel about her? Nothing analytical. How do you feel? And she's amazing. Dude, cheers. <laughs> He's such a bro in this movie. I mean, Caleb's not wrong. Man's made history. The test doesn't stop when you exit that little cube. Always love the lighting setups in all the various rooms though. Gotta get creative since there's really no natural light. The first time I watched this, that scared me so much. The sound effects are so booming and powerful. Hold facility locked up until main generator is restored. Power restored. Love how that comes out of nowhere as well. I think you're just watching an interesting sci-fi movie at the start and then all of a sudden that changes everything. Hello? Uh, the party room. Good stuff happens in here later. Please insert key card. You don't have access to use the phone. Sorry, buddy. You understand though, given Ava and you being kind of an unknown. Man gets hammered practically every night. So volatile. Who are you gonna call? I don't know. No one really. Ghostbusters. What? Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters? It's a movie, man. <laughs> Dude would be so hard to hang out with because there's no way to be on the same page. Oh. I think it's mainly just the drastic shift in hairstyle, but I watched all of Devs and not until a while after I finished it did I realize it's the same actress. Testing Ava through conversation is kind of like testing a, a chess computer by only playing chess. But that won't tell you if it knows that it's playing chess. This is such smart dialogue, man. Taking such complicated things, but making it so easy to understand. I just want simple answers to simple questions. Now the question is, how does she feel about you? Great cut to the text right there. His true method or motivation came out a little bit right there. I do drawings every day, but I never know what they're of. You're not trying to sketch something specific. What object should I draw? Whatever you want. I'm interested to see what you'll choose. I love that we just focus on her throughout this whole shot while Caleb's talking in the background. It's like he's making the viewer perform the test at the same time by only watching her. Do you want to be my friend? Of course. Our conversations are one-sided. You want me to talk about myself? Okay, where do I start? It's your decision. I'm interested to see what you'll choose. I like that she just plays back his own words against him now. Her machine learning is very advanced. Do you know what his company is? Blue Book. Processing an average of 94% of all internet search requests. This movie's basically just a warning about what the CEO of Google could eventually do. My parents were both high school teachers. They were both dead. Car crash when I was 15. In fact, I was in the car with them, but it was the front that got the worst of it. I'm sorry. It's all right. 
That'd be so terrible, man. I can't even imagine. Your whole life changes in an instant. Is Nathan your friend? My friend? We only just met each other, I guess. Power cut. Back power activated. Here we go. Now we get to the good stuff. <laughs> Love these moments. Lighting is just elite, bro. I especially love the blue from her insides. You're wrong. Wrong about what? He isn't your friend. Excuse me? If I, I don't understand. You shouldn't trust him. <laughs> Man, still get chills no matter how many times I've seen it. What a brilliant scene. The soundtrack is excellent. I also love in that shot of Ava, she is only seen in the reflections repeatedly in the back. You can't even see Caleb. Are you kidding me? Did it get on you? No, no, it's it's all right. I, I got it. Dude, you're wasting your time talking to her. She doesn't understand English. It's wild that Kyoko passes the Turing test with flying colors and we don't even realize that she's not the focus. I keep getting failures every day. The guys that installed it something up. You can't just get him to come back. There's too much classified stuff here, so after the job was done, I just had them all killed. <laughs> Caleb was freaked out there for a second. And what about the power cut? It's the only part that I couldn't see. Cameras fail, I lose audio. So what happened? Nothing. Nothing? She didn't remark on it at all? Man, Oscar Isaac is such a chameleon because he's so frightening in this role without being super overbearing. Compare that to Moon Knight, he plays a much more low-key character, depending on the scene. You want to see something cool? This is where Ava was created. Go ahead, take a look. I feel like set design for a room like this would cost so much because it's so elaborate, futuristic. Every cell phone has a microphone, camera, and a means to transmit data. I turned on every microphone and camera, and I redirected the data through Blue Book. Limitless resource. <laughs> Pretty massive breach of privacy right there, but he got a cool result. But I also just remembered the significance of the 94% of the searches. You see, my competitors, they thought that search engines were a map of what people were thinking, but actually they were a map of how people were thinking. Impulse, response. Such fascinating writing, dude. Every dialogue scene is like the perfect TED talk. Love the script so much, I bought the script book that A24 sells for this. You've never been outside this building. No. Where would you go if you did go outside? Maybe a busy pedestrian and traffic intersection in a city. Provide a concentrated but shifting view of human life. Feels like such a little moment right there, but becomes so much more significant. I also feel like that's kind of Nathan's weakness, is he's trapped in this place so often, even though he has access to all this information, but all the information in the world can't predict every action. Close your eyes. Okay. Her movements are insanely specific. So impressive how she was able to mimic the flow an AI would have like that. It's like normal humans just kind of move any which way without too much thought, but you can kind of almost see each exact thought in her brain when she decides to make a move. Once again, man, soundtrack is sublime. And I love when it gives you little details like the sketch on the wall to make you think there's certain reasoning for all these moves, when in reality it goes a little bit deeper. Now open your eyes. How do I look? You look good. <laughs> Rave review right there, so ecstatic. I'm sure he's just probably overwhelmed. This is what I'd wear on our date. Right, first a traffic intersection, then maybe a show. I'd like us to go on a date. Yeah, it'd be fun. <laughs> Caleb getting mad uncomfortable now. He's not ready for that. Are you attracted to me? What? Are you attracted to me? You give me indications that you are. How? Micro-expressions. Micro-expressions? The way your eyes fix on my eyes. <laughs> Can read him like a book. And she's not wrong. It's been that way almost from the beginning. And who wouldn't though? It's Alicia Vikander. You think about me when we aren't together. Sometimes at night, I'm wondering if you're watching me on the cameras. I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. And I love that, even though I would love more, that those scenes are kind of used sparingly throughout the film because it makes each time feel so much more significant.
Naughty, naughty Caleb, you shouldn't be doing that. Even if she's an AI, I feel like you still gotta give her some privacy. I got a question. Okay. Why did you give her sexuality? An AI doesn't need a gender. Very deliberate choice of shot right there. Man's doing some dark stuff with his creations. What's your type of girl? No, of salad dressing. Let's say it's black chicks. Why is that your thing? Because you did a detailed analysis of all racial types, cross-reference that analysis with a points-based system? <laughs> I bet there is somebody out there in the world who's done exactly that. I programmed her to be heterosexual, just like you were programmed to be heterosexual. Nobody programmed me. Please, of course you were programmed. By nature or nurture or both, you're starting to annoy me now you can never second guess what this man is saying even though he's making some very interesting points you know this guy right jackson pollock jackson pollock okay he let his mind go blank and his hand go where it wanted not deliberate not random someplace in between i love all this all these ideas that we go through man it's all so interesting he said you know what i can't paint anything unless i know exactly why i'm doing it what would have happened he never would have made a single mark yes there's my buddy who thinks <laughs> Not much of a buddy. Pretty one-sided relationship. Ava's not pretending to like you. You're the first man she's met that isn't me. Can you blame her for getting a crush on you? No, you can't. Such a great shot right there with that painting in the background. Caleb's just a pawn in everybody's game here. Mary's a scientist, and her specialist subject is color. She knows everything there is to know about it. But she lives in a black and white room. She was born there and raised there. Fantastic cutaways. This is such an interesting thing as well. This is one reason why I love the movie so much is because it deals with so many complex concepts. I feel like I pick up on something new each time. The computer is Mary in the black and white room. The human is when she walks out. Did you know that I was brought here to test you? No. Why didn't you think I was here? Very interesting tactic he's going for by revealing his mission. Kind of taking his advice about the Pollock painting. I didn't win a competition. Why would you randomly select an examiner for the Turing test? The competition was a smokescreen. Why me? I needed someone that would ask the right questions. Ah, uh, that's part of it, but not the whole truth. He's still lying a bit. Caleb's pretty smart though in figuring it out. You got the light on you, man. Not lucky. Chosen. And there's still so much that I probably don't understand about this. And I'm surprised I've never actually, I don't think, not that I don't think I know, I haven't watched the director commentary on this. It would probably be fun. It is interesting to think about why he envisions that scenario in black and white. Is it because he's forcing his mind and his knowledge back into a confined space? Because obviously seeing in color is the progression. Kyoko, where's Nathan? Oh man, learning what she's made for, the deep dark secrets. Don't do that, you don't have to do that. I told you, you're wasting your time talking to her. However, you would not be wasting your time if you were dancing with her. <laughs> Here comes one of the best scenes in film history for sure. Freaking iconic moment. Go ahead, dance with her. You don't like dancing? After a long day of Turing test, you gotta unwind. She does have some impressive moves, especially for an AI. Better than I could ever do. You tore up her picture. I'm gonna tear up Dance for it, dude. Check it out. <laughs> Everything about this scene is so amazing. I love it. And it's so abrupt and out of nowhere. Come on, Caleb! such an amazing cut, man. I did watch one thing about that scene in particular where it was originally supposed to end with Oscar falling on the table and like breaking it or something, but they decided it was a bit too comical for it. I think it works perfect the way it is. Bro, Ben Salisbury, I think that's who does the soundtrack, him and Joff Barrow or something. Just phenomenal. They knocked it out of the park. Question one, what's your favorite color? Red. Lie. Lie? Yes. 
Lie. <laughs> Can't put anything past her. If only it was that easy to tell when people were lying. Seeing as I'm not six, I don't really have a favorite color. Better answer. Question two. What's your earliest memory? It's a memory of kindergarten. There was a kid. Lie. <laughs> She's gonna extract the whole truth, no matter how hard it is. It's just a sound and sky. I think this sound is my mother's voice. Question three. Ava would make a fantastic therapist as well, could read all the patients perfectly, bring out memories they forgot they had. What will happen to me if I fail your test? I don't know. Do you think I might be switched off? It's not up to me. Why is it up to anyone? Do you have people to test you or might switch you off? <laughs> this is such great stuff, man. She's gotten pretty advanced by this point asking those kind of questions. I want to be with you. Question five. Do you want to be with me? Oh man, I love that they don't show us the answer right there. We can pretty much know already what he would have said though, if he told the truth that is. Why did you make Ava? Wouldn't you if you could? I don't know. The arrival of strong artificial intelligence has been inevitable for decades. I don't see Ava as a decision, just an evolution. I love the juxtaposition of the conversations outside compared to those in the room with Ava. With Ava, he's more official and technical and methodical, but when he's outside talking with Nathan, things come more naturally and he's a little bit more honest and aggressive with his questions, I feel like. You feel bad for Ava? Feel bad for yourself, man. One day the AIs are gonna look back on us the same way we look at fossil skeletons in the plains of Africa. Very Blade Runner type mindset right there. This conversation has to make him feel good about the Turing test though. Has to make Nathan feel good, that is. I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. There you go, Mr. There you Quotable. There go again, Mr. Quotable. <laughs> I've watched this too many times to know some of the lines. It's not my quote. It's what Oppenheimer said after he made the, the atomic, atomic bomb. bomb. Yeah, I know what it is, dude. It's a very fitting line as well because Ava is a metaphorical or symbolic type of atomic bomb, if you will, for society. Such a risk doing all this because as mentioned in the beginning, there's nobody else out here. So if you're discovered, it's a 1v1. Definitely one of my, maybe not most, but one of the more replayed soundtracks that I listen to over and over. Love the electronic vibes. Everything about this sequence is so haunting. The editing, the music, I see all the monstrous aspects of his work. Why would you let me out? Because you're very special. Especially in shots like that, it's unreal what they were able to accomplish with the VFX. But also, I like how they finally answer what that mark was on the glass in the interrogation room. Just top tier effects. Must have taken so freaking long to get that to work. That's my card. problem, Nathan. I lost my key card. I love their positioning right here. Caleb standing over him, thinking that he has all the power now. Such an amazing sequence. This is just the natural conclusion you reach, because if you were a truly advanced AI, how would you know? Absolutely nasty, but at least he's human. He knows that much. Love how we see how this is all affecting his brain, though. <laughs> Man, that 
that music is so good just overwhelming now my guess on what all that analyzing effects are and that there's a camera there is maybe just a way of further evaluating how caleb is feeling about the whole thing just analyzing his expressions and whatnot you were right about nathan you have to help me we're getting out of here tonight i get nathan blind drunk and i take his key card and reprogram all the security protocols in this place oh man ava's going full how from 2001 caleb and nathan both think they're such geniuses but they aren't the real mastermind here helicopter comes tomorrow morning 8 a.m man so what a thing we've shared huh something to tell the grandchildren right after they sign their ndas yeah their nda <laughs> You crack me up, man. <laughs> so calm and personable now. We need to drink to that. Caleb, I'm sure you've noticed that I've been somewhat overdoing it recently. Time to hit the old detox. <laughs> the plan's gonna fail, man. And it's the last night, so nothing you can do. Now is when you tell me if Ava passed or failed. Her AI is beyond doubt. She passed. Gotta say, I'm a bit surprised. I mean, did we ever get past the, the chess problem? I love that. It's such a massive issue and built up so much. And the reveal right here is so calm and casual, partly because it's not the real answer we're searching for. A third option, whether she's pretending to like you. Well, why would she do that? I don't know. Maybe if she thought of you as a means of escape. <laughs> and there you go. He knew way more than Caleb gave him credit for. Conversation does a 180. You're a bastard. I understand why you'd think that. But believe it or not, I'm actually the guy that's on your side. Come here. I'm going to let you off the hook. Okay? It just kind of stuck out to me right there because the way the light was shining on his glasses. I don't know if Alex Garland intentionally chose for his character to have glasses because they almost just reflect everything you throw at him. You can't really see his eyes or his true nature. That could just be something wild. I rip up her picture, which she can then present as an illustration of my cruelty to her. It allows me to do this in full view of you both. Place a new camera in the room. <laughs> I love it, man. So effective as a reveal. You never see that part coming. I remembered that he had footage of them during the blackout, but I didn't remember when or how, I mean. You have to help me. We're getting out of here tonight. I get Nathan blind drunk. I just need you to do one thing at 10 o'clock tonight trigger a power failure i mean even though caleb was gonna betray him this has got to be everything that nathan's wanted the test pretty much worked caleb was fully bought in ava was a rat in a maze to escape she'd have to use self-awareness imagination manipulation sexuality now if that isn't true ai what the this script is incredible. I love the way we get to that point. Hit it so perfectly. Even now, I still forget some aspects when rewatching. Selected me based on my search engine inputs. Did you design Ava's face based on my pornography profile? Hey, if a search engine is good for anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> They could not be any more opposite as far as emotions right now. Hello, guys. Well, I guess it's 10 o'clock. Let me ask you something. Now, how is this plan gonna, gonna go anyway? Because you didn't totally explain. So you were gonna get me drunk. Oh, man. I totally forgot about this other twist on top of everything. In the event of a power cut, instead of sealing, the door is all opened. Well, that may have just worked. Well, we'll find out. Oh man, what a great shot right there. I can't believe I didn't remember that things had already been in motion before. I already did all those things when I got you drunk yesterday. <laughs> man, what an amazing reveal. Caleb doesn't realize it, but he sealed his own fate too. is perfectly scheming this whole thing. And I definitely realize there's a lot of parallels to the chess discussion they were having, but I don't know all the angles it relates to that. Maybe the angle is that Caleb and Nathan were playing chess without realizing they were participating in a chess game. Ava, I said stop! insane bro the effects were already god tier before but now that she's interacting physically mind-blowing <laughs> how do they freaking do it man no matter how many times i watch that sequence specifically it still surprises me What a 
cool shot. I love the way she rises up. Music coming in right there is so good. Most powerful man in the world. Potentially, I would assume with his resources, he's one of them. Reduced to nothing. Killed by his own creation. Okay. Ah. Unreal. Man, such a great character. Even in the moments that he's dying, still appreciates his work. What happened? Will you stay here? Stay here. Ah, oh, man, the last part of her plan is locking him here as well. It's the same reason that Nathan can't keep inviting contractors back. Caleb knows too much. Such a hypnotizing sequence. I feel like that's one of Garland's strengths in every one of his projects. I feel like there's always moments where I'm just fully mesmerized. It's kind of cool how you could still see some of the little seams where it doesn't fully connect. And that's actually really interesting. I'm not sure if I've ever noticed that specifically, but once it transitions into the other mirror, you can't see the seams anymore. She's fully transformed. is flabbergasted. Just a 10 out of 10 flawless sequence right there. It's so captivating, the overwhelming soundtrack that just envelops you, the slow moving cinematography, all the actual sounds in the scene are muted. I like how now that she's out here and transformed into her new human form, Alicia gives her that little touch of extra human movement and everything. She feels so much more real. And this is one of my favorite frames in any movie. Love how it's just flipped upside down. Now there's a new player in society, but I love that you can instantly tell who's that shadow. And I also love the callback to her earlier mention. The place she would want to go is a busy intersection or something with a lot of people to observe. Such an amazing movie, man. I don't think I'll ever get tired of it. And I've obviously mentioned what I think are a lot of his strengths as far as filmmaking goes, but he truly knows how to end his films and his projects, in my opinion. Whether it's Dread, which basically he directed from what I have read and understand, or this or Annihilation. I love how in pretty much all of those cases he focuses on more hypnotic styles of filmmaking. The soundtrack becomes overwhelming. It's a lot of visual storytelling, not a whole lot of dialogue. The filmmaking itself kind of slows down a bit comparatively to the rest of the film. Just kind of puts you in a trance for the last little bit, which I think helps it be a little bit more memorable. This time I picked up on a few other things I don't think I've picked up on in the past so it was really fun to rewatch it again and I'm sure that'll be the case each subsequent time I watch the film which no doubt I will still watch this plenty more times and so many phenomenal performances obviously mentioned a bunch of the technical aspects but the fact that the film pretty much just has four characters the entire runtime it's amazing how much they grip you and hold your attention the entire time everybody does such a perfect job even the role of Kyoko, which is relatively small compared to the others, the actress does an excellent job with the similarly robotic nature to her, but without saying a single word of dialogue the whole time, she still is able to portray a lot of emotion and some interesting scenes. But I don't know if I mentioned while watching the film, but this was one of my earliest, if not my first, exposure 
to Oscar Isaac. And ever since then, I've been a huge fan of his acting and his work. Pretty much every role I've seen him in, he surprises me in one way or another. Obviously, J.J. Abrams clearly liked this movie, casting both of them in The Force Awakens. But I feel like these films would have been in production around a similar time so still a fun connection well i certainly loved revisiting ex machina once again not sure exactly how many times i've seen it up to this point but it's been quite a few and each time i feel like i gain a new appreciation for an aspect of it love little bits and pieces even more but hopefully you all really enjoyed watching along with me and obviously there can't be a back and forth dialogue between us while watching this movie but definitely one that would benefit a lot from that and so i'm still looking forward to all your thoughts about the film and different theories or interpretations that you get for different moments i would love to hear what you guys have to say about it because there's so much to dissect and analyze about the filmmaking and the script which is one of my favorite scripts for sure. It digs in deep to so many different aspects, but I hope that you had a good time watching along with me for this one. Really excited to get into Annihilation next with you all as well, another Garland masterpiece. And if you did enjoy, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up, it really helps the video out. And of course the full length commentary is available on Patreon, link for that in the description below. But until the next movie, look forward to seeing you all later. Peace.